Hey guys, Al Nino here, and we're gonna run this stream highlights in the background for my recent games with Movement Speed Quince. Yes, you heard that right, Movement Speed Quince, the classical Season 3, Season 4 rune page that I used to run. Well, I decided to bring it back, and it's actually not that bad, except there are a few differences. I'm gonna display my runes first. My runes are 2 Movement Speed Quince, 1 Magic Penetration Quint, 9 Magic Penetration Glyphs, Health per level seals, of course 9, and 9 Attack Damage Marks. This will give you a mix of good Magic Penetration Damage and AD Marks. This helps you out a lot in the early game. You get so much damage off, it's awesome. So, <clears throat> you know how you'd go AP Quints, AP Glyphs, those would typically give you a lot of damage, but this with this Rune Page, actually, you still have a decent early game. You can still First Blood, and you can still kill people at level 3, level 2. So it's really not that bad. However, the change here is, if you do not go Luden's Echo and you loved movement speed, like I, like you love movement speed, you love it. You can't live without it. You can go movement speed quints, right? However, the reason I go one magic penetration quint is because I need to get that 7.4 magic penetration total because if you spam Sorry, if you put 9 Magic Penetration Marks in the Marks section, you'd actually have a total of 7.8 Magic Pen. So, I get 7.7. .7. I think I'm getting the numbers wrong, but I think it's 7.7 .7 Magic Penetration with Magic Pen Glyphs and 1 Magic Pen Quint. So, you only lose out on 0.1 Magic Penetration total. And I will get to that in a bit. I'll explain more in-depthly about that in a bit. So now, why Gunblade? Why movements be quints? Why this sudden, sudden change? Well, I am a big fan of movement speed. All right. So why don't I just go Luden? The thing is, guys, Luden's Echo, the Q damage with Luden's Echo doesn't feel like it used to be before. Before you Q poke, you take down like half their fucking health. You you do so much damage with Luden Q, and she was so strong at poking, but she's not a poke champion assassin anymore she's more like in fights she's like dancing around with the daggers spinning all over the place you can't poke people with Q and take down so much of their health anymore that's why I kind of feel a little bit down with Luden because I think it's still a great item especially because of the mobility 10% movement speed is huge on CAD that's like the best stat about it but with the Q synchronization with Luden's Echo feels kind of off so I decided to add Gunblade I, I decided to test it out on my stream um, and it, the gameplay you see right now in the background is with movement sequence and Gunblade Rush. Some games I decided to rush Rylai though, because I wanted to see like how different it is. Like Ryla Rush is still good, guys. Ryla Rush is still good if you are getting used to the new Katarina. If you want to test things out, Ryla Rush is your perfect place to begin. <clears throat> and then you can branch out to whatever you want. But Rylai is just so consistent, so good that there's nothing bad about rushing it. It works, it's consistent, it's good, it's awesome. Go for Rylai if you want. Now Gunblade is the more is the more experienced route. Like if you had a good amount of experience with a champion, you can start going Gunblade because it's actually not that bad. I played a few games with it, and man, it's really not that bad, especially with the runes that I go. First off, I will say this, the recipe for Gunblade is atrocious. The recipe with Cutlass is so bad. I hate Cutlass, like, that's the one reason, is I, I, I hate the recipe, but the item itself, the active, once you finish the recipe, is so good, right? Revolver is okay, it's not as bad. Basically, if you have one DC large rod, it's actually a thousand times better than having a Cutlass and a Revolver together. Like, NLR is so damn good. But, you want to finish the Gunblade. You want to finish it to be able to really make this item work. So first off, you buy two Long Swords and two Amp Tones, right? And then, of course, upgrade to Hexstrat Revolver. And from there, finish the Cutlass and then finish Gunblade. That's the route you want to build your recipe. Do not rush Cutlass as a first item. Just because you go AD Marks doesn't mean you should rush Cutlass. It's not good. It's not a good item to go for as a rush item. Revolver is good because you basic attack and you have AD marks. Your basic attack damage is, is more, so definitely do that. Now, we're gonna get deep into runes and give you guys my thoughts and explanations on runes so you just have a better Whoa. image. 
So here's the movement speed quint uh, runes that I use against AD champions and AP champions. So we'll start with versus AP first. You typically, I typically will go two movement speed quints. That will give me around 3% movement speed. Additionally, with my out of combat movement speed from masteries, I get total of 6% movement speed total. I go magic pen quints, full magic pen glyphs, and AD marks for the early pressure and health level seals. Now. The reason I go Magic Pen Quint here is because if we look at a standard room page with just the typical Magic Pen marks, you get 7.8 Magic Penetration. This is standard. Now, if I go here, I have 7.7. .7. I'm only losing out on 0.1 Magic Penetration, which is completely fine. If I remove this, I'll only have 5.7. So that's why adding in Magic Pen helps you get that 7.7 .7 as you would have with a standard room page. So basically since I go AD marks, I, I need to compensate for the magic penetration because if I just go AD marks, I don't have magic pen at all and that's not good. You want to have magic pen. So I go full magic pen on glyphs and one quint. The next two are movement speed quints. Now you can 100% swap these movement speed quints for AP quints instead of move speed quints. You could totally do that. You'd have a really strong laning phase. The AD marks totally help out. It's amazing to have that early pressure with AD marks. It really does make a difference with the magic pen combined and the mobility you get for coming back to lane, roaming, chasing, that adds to that as well. Since you, if you don't buy Luden's Echo, right, you lose out on the movement speed. So this definitely helps you with that. Luden gives you 10% movement speed though. So it's a huge comparison right you can't compare Luden to two movement speed quints that's Luden's like 10% this is 3% so yeah this is a typical room page that I'm going at the moment uh, still playing a lot of games with this room page and it's been going awesome um, versus 80 champions you would typically go the same thing the same thing except armor seals so that's really it Everything the same, AD marks, must be quints, magic pen, glyphs. So it's good for if they rush hex drinker or something, you have the magic penetration, which is good. And yeah, armor seal so you don't get shredded. So that's it's pretty much that. It's uh, self-explanatory, it works, it's good. You have early strong pressure, and yes, you can first blood people with this rune page. At level 2, you have strong aggression. At level 3, you have strong aggression. Despite having must be quints, you lose out on damage from that, but it absolutely fits my style because I like to I'm a type of player that likes Luden's Echo. So if I would go Gumblade now as a rush item, I would typically go Moose Bequence because you lose out on the mobility that Luden gives you. So you could also go Gumblade, Luden's Echo, or Gumblade Rylai. But I'm going right now Gumblade, Rylai into a Void Staff, into a Zonya, into a GA. Alright, Zonya is very important. So there's actually if you rush Gunblade, you could still buy a Luden. It depends like how hard you're carrying, so it's completely situational on the item path, the item build path. So yeah, this is the typical room page. And it's it's good. I mean honestly, now that I've you know gotten used to the, the Katarina, I start branching out, trying out different things, and to me, this is actually a pretty damn good room page. The mobility is insane. I love being able to catch up the daggers and you know sometimes you Q and then you have to walk up to that dagger, right? I can walk up to it a lot faster now and then shumpa to it. Like, it's just the mobility aspect of, of it is so nice. I like sock shoes. Along with sock shoes, you get that extra mobility as well. So it works, man. If you go Luton's Echo with this build too, you get, you get over 17.5% movement speed. So you have over 465 movement speed total. So movement speed is amazing on Cat. You're a mobile champion. You want to catch up to daggers and all that. The only thing is, you don't want to focus too much on move speed quints. Like, don't go full move speed quints. Go one magic pen quint. So, you know, you have the damage early. So you're not completely shit on damage. You have great damage like this. You can still first blood and stay mobile and relevant through early, mid, and late game. Move speed quints help you out in every stage of the game. So overall, it's a good room page to go for. So that is about it, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching my Catarina Guide here. I hope this helps you out. I hope it gives you a better idea of how I play Katarina right now. And I love it. I love it so much. It's been I've been having great games with this room page so far. Good aggression, good mix of both 
aggression and mobility so that still remains at her core i'm still able to do awesome things and still have a good early let me know what you guys think in the comments below make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash alino9 that's why i stream and i got my stream schedule in that twitch stream as well if you scroll down below for your time zones so that's about it guys thank you all so much for watching big heart and a big kiss and i'll see you guys on the rift